Chocolate Me, written by Tay Diggs, illustrated by Shane Evans. This book was donated by somebody on the internet who wanted to share some smiles with you. Her name was Sarah, and she donated 10 books to our classroom. So nice. Chocolate Me. Sitting on my stoop when I was five, not like Timmy or Johnny or even Mark, though I wanted a name like theirs. Chocolate me. When we'd play, they'd say, look where your skin begins. It's brown like dirt. Does it hurt to wash off? Chocolate me. It's not very kind at all. I think his skin is beautiful. I love chocolate. I don't know what their problem is. They often stared at my hair. Why do you look scared? It's so poofy and big like a wig, not straight. Don't you hate to comb it? Their hair is different. Chocolate me. Look at his face. How do you think he's feeling? I think he's feeling sad. And it looks like his feelings are hurt. That's what my face looks like when my feelings are hurt, and I'm not so sure if I can trust who I'm with. Oh, no. They pointed at my nose. I froze. It's so big and wide. I tried to hide. So unkind. His nose is beautiful and perfect. I hope someone tells him this. Chocolate me. I squirmed and wiggled as they giggled at my what my teeth so white. You can be our flashlight at night. Just smile and we'll be all right. Chocolate me. When I came home in from outside, I cried. Why, I asked my moms, why can't I be more like Timmy or Johnny or Mark with straight hair and a different nose? I suppose my teeth wouldn't seem so bright if my skin were a bit more light, right? Chocolate me. I'm going to zoom in. Look at this boy's eyes. How do you think he's feeling? Oh, that's a little too zoomed. You said sad. You're right, he's feeling really sad and down and blue. Hmm. I bet you his moms know what to do. And then my mom said, wait one minute, my sweet. Can't you see? You have skin like velvet fudge frosting mixed in a bowl. You can lick the spoon. Cotton candy hair soft to the touch of my fingertips or braided like rows of corn with a twist. And your smile, she says, makes me so happy I could cry. No amount of money could buy how much it makes me feel for real. It's perfect. I think that was a really kind thing to say. And I think she means it. Let's see. See what he thinks. Look, she says. Look in the mirror and love what you see. All right, pause the video. Go look in a mirror. What do you see? Go ahead. Go look and then come back. I'll wait. What did you see? Did you see a smart, amazing, perfectly imperfect person? Because if you did, 
you're right, all of us are great just the way we are. Chocolate me! How is he feeling now? Let me zoom in on his face. Ready? I see a big smile. He must feel pretty happy and proud. So I feel when I'm smiling like that. And look at his shirt. It says, Chocolate Me. That's perfect. He's taking ownership of that name. He's saying, yeah, chocolate's great just like me. Hmm. I started to think about my face, my skin, my nose, my fro. And what do you know? Along came Timmy and Johnny and Mark, who suddenly didn't seem so smart. And I started to smile, and smile, and smile. It felt so good, I could taste it. Why? Because I am chocolate. Chocolate is sweet. Chocolate is smooth. Chocolate is beautiful and delicious. Chocolate is me. Chocolate me. Look. Well, they have some chocolate on their face. They look like they like it. And they look like they're being so much kinder to him. That's the way it should have always been. I bet they'll change their ways. Chocolate me.